Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cine Cool, and this is Gems of War. And today I have three teams for you for the Illithea Faction event. And uh, two of them are like my favorites, and I like to talk about them, and they're fun to use in my opinion. And then one of them is topical, it uses Stone Slicer, and it's the low level team. So let's get into it here. Uh, I do have Illithea done on level 500 Pure Faction Deathless, so I will link that video at the end of this short video. So in the upper left hand corner, you'll see the Deathless and Pure Faction video. So if you need that, it should be there for you. All right, here's the first team, one of my favorites. It's probably my favorite team right now. It's the uh, Psycho Mega Missy. Um, Pretty sure I came up with this. If not, then I was one of the first people, one of the first few people to come up with it. But uh, we got uh, Mountain Crusher, Sycorax, Mistralis, and Megavore. Um, I love it because you get that Sycorax up, you cast it on Brown a million times until you get Mistralis. You cast Mistralis, she's got an extra turn. You go back to casting your Sycorax a million times on Brown. You cast Mistralis when she gets up, she's got an extra turn. She does a lot of damage. All the while, the Megavore doing the death below. Good old chance to instant kill on every four or five match. And guess what we're doing a ton of? Four or five matches. And our whole team is brown. So every time we cast that Sycorax on brown, we're gaining a bunch of life. Um, we got a brown storm with Titan and uh, uh, Mountain Crusher. And, uh, you know, Mistralis hitting everybody, getting in a bunch of damage in and have an extra turn. And if you want to later on, you can switch it up in uh, a little bit. You cast the Megavore before you cast the Mistralis, so you strip all their armor, and you, you hit one really hard and strip the whole t other team's armor, and then you can get it done a little quicker with the Mistralis. So early on, you're just going to um, match like one brown. You got a 50% start with your Titan, right? So you match like one brown, you get up your Mountain Crusher, you cast it, that usually gets up your Sycorax. You cast your Sycorax on brown, because at that point, with an Explode Potion, with a uh, Mountain Crusher cast, you're going to have a ton of brown on the board, so you cast your Sycorax on brown. You keep doing that until you get Mistralis up, you cast it, she gets an extra turn, you go back to your Sycorax, cast that on brown until you get her up again, and all the while you got chances at Death Below with the Megavore. And then later on, you'll cast that Megavore once to strip all their armor and make it go a little quicker, and then you just do the same old thing, except for you add in a Megavore cast. And that's a deeper, like level 200 plus. But that can definitely do Deathless there. It's a loopy team. Loopy teams can do Deathless. Here's another really loopy team, and y'all probably all know this team, but I think some of you just don't know how to use it right. Uh, we got Forest Troll, Gob Truffle, Gob Truffle, Doomed Glaive. Works awesome, can do Deathless as well if you use it right. Um, you get up Forest Troll by matching brown or blue. You use exactly what I'm using here. Don't use anything else. Don't use um, OSHA's Tome or Gob Sticker or, you know, use the Doomed Glaive. There's reasons why. It's got a green storm. It's got an entangle. It, it changes brown to skulls. Like, it's perfect for this team. So please use the Doomed Glaive if you got it. Don't be using something else. Um, forest Troll. You get up Forest Troll first. You match blue or brown. You cast it. It makes a ton of green. It gets up Gob Truffle, and then you cast Gob Truffle till the cows come home. It's not super hard. And then, um, ever so occasionally, you'll cast that Doomed Glaive. But only here and there. You don't just cast it all the time. You're casting Gob Truffle with the most high priority. Um, Forest Troll just is first to get up the Gob Truffles. And then after that, it's the Gob Truffles. Highest priority. If there's a Gob Truffle up, you're casting it. And, the, and if there's not a Gob Truffle up and there's Forest Troll and Doomed Glaive, you're casting the Forest Troll. Doomed Glaive is always the last priority. It's only there to clean up or if they're like submerged or something and you need to get some skull damage on them. It's the only time you would cast the Doomed Glaive. I think people are having trouble with this team. They don't like make Gob Truffle the highest priority or they try to cast the Doomed Glaive when they shouldn't or something. Or they add in some weird weapon or they take off a Gob Truffle and put on something else. If you use that exact team, I promise you, you can get level 500 Deathless done. But you have to use that exact team with two Nishas and an Anu. All right, here is the team that uses Stone Slicer, which is in the Soul Forge right now. It's one of two or three teams that uses it, and it's probably the one of the most notable teams that uses the Stone Slicer. It's the Triple Cunning Stone Slicer team. I'm probably, I might get this on my new account. I'm considering it. I'm like, should I get the Stone Slicer? It's going to cost a lot of my jewels. 
But, uh, you know, should I wait for, like, Nimbus Bow or Rage Reaver or something else? Like, I think Rope Dart already went by. But, um, I don't know. Should I wait for a different weapon? I don't know. Let me in the comments. What do you guys think? Should I get the Stone Slicer on my new account so I can have a Guardian team? Like, a real Guardian team? It kind of goes like that. You know, you wait and see what's the weapon that you get first. And then you do it. You do your Guardian team based on which weapon you get. You don't, like, get the Guardians and then, you know, go to the comments like, but I don't have the weapon. You wait till you get the weapon, then you make your Guardian team. But anyway, you know Guardian teams. You got three of them. They do uh, extra damage to their color. Um, they give stats to themselves for every four or five gym match. Uh, the Stone Slicer makes purple. It's constructs, all constructs. We're using Geomancer, and it's awesome. Uh, but, yeah, those are my three teams. Topical and favorites. Like, share, subscribe, consider joining. It helps a lot. Tell your guild about the channel, comment below, and I'll see y'all tomorrow for the live stream. Peace.